So welcome to our office. Uh, when we first walk in on the right, we have our closet, which we've been using as our shipping station for all of our merchandise, stickers, and basically anything we need to send out. We just use that area. Uh, we've got some posters and some other random things we've just been hanging on the wall. So the idea is that we want to turn this space into our office for the business. We mm -hmm. want it to be a magical, wonderful place where we can escape the rest of life and just film, edit. It's going to be record. like our studio, basically. You just set sail on the SS Imagination. Since this is a rental house, we can't really do a whole lot to the walls. We're going to get creative. <laughs> we just want this to be a really nice place for us to work and that looks good for you guys. And we enjoy working in here and everything else because we've spent a lot of hours in here. Step one for today is going to be to build a new table. This yes. is a really nice plastic table. <laughs> It's gonna give us the opportunity to practice building a large six foot long table, which yeah. we're a table company now. So we need to get some reps in and making some really big, nice, thick, beefy tables. So we modeled this desk in Fusion 360, which is something we've been meaning to try. We wanted to get into it and kind of learn what it's about, but it's a massive program. It is capable of so much stuff and it can be really, really intimidating. I personally have pretty much zero experience in computer modeling. So it was especially intimidating for me until our friend Brandon from Make or Break Shop reached out to us and told us about a course that he was creating specifically for teaching makers how to model furniture and builds in Fusion 360. So you guys know Brandon. He's the one that edits the Making It podcast, the We Built A Thing podcast. He has his own podcast that we've been on. He has his own channel. He is well involved in the world of makers and so he knew exactly what we all needed when it came to a course in Fusion 360. So we have partnered with him to bring you guys this course at a discounted rate. You can get 20% off using the link down in our description below. We do get a small kickback from it. It benefits Brandon. So if you want to help out multiple makers in this space, as well as learn a skill that you were probably going to learn anyway, something that you want to look into, definitely check out his course and give it a try. His course walks you through everything you need to know, step by step, beginning to end. I was able to learn how to download this software, design this desk in just a couple of hours. So if I can do it, you guys can definitely do it too. And this course is the perfect resource for you. We have decided to show this footage of us rearranging the shop. The first thing that we knew was that the CNC was taking up way too much floor space. We had a big, nice table for it. It was really nice, but we did not use the CNC. CRC, CRC, CNC series. Say that five times fast. CRC, CNC, CRC, 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 We, uh, we just decided that the CNC wasn't worth its real estate in the shop, so that opened up a ton of floor space for us. Yes, so and now we can move some things that we've been meaning to give a, a genuine spot to. Um, they've now got a spot. Not so we really need a big, nice assembly and finishing table in the middle of the shop, not necessarily yeah. the table saw. So we are bad at hanging up stickers. We haven't been able to make up our minds because we don't want to stick them on one set thing like a door and then move because we have moved so much. Mark. And then, oh, well, hey, he took the entire door with him. That was pretty stinking creative. I don't think I could have taken a door with me. And then this guy's gonna have to take his whole garage door with him when he moves. So we just tried to figure out what the best method was. Because and we want everybody up, but... This guy has a really <laughs> genius idea of just putting magnets on the back of the stickers and then you can stick them to whatever metal surface you want, take them off, rearrange them, take them with you. We're gonna combine these two gentlemen's ideas so we don't end up like this guy. <laughs> Every change has a reason, baby. 
Okay, so we just bought all this ash and we were super excited to do woodworking because it's our first time back in Houston since... Yay! Anyway, so we just found out all of this lumber we just bought is supposed to be skip plane two sides, straight one edge, and both edges are just trashed. Rather than loading the wood back up, taking it all the way back to the hardwood dealer and making them do it, we should have bought a joiner a long time we ago. We really should have. We've so, been saying this for way too long. We should have taken our own advice and just... Anyway, Jenny just got off the phone with the guy at Woodcraft. They had one left in stock, which is the model we wanted. It's hard to take your own medicine. I know we talk, talk about money going in, not money going out, but we can't build a lot right now. So it's kind of dumb to make a giant purchase like that, but we should have done it a long time ago. Yeah. Anyway, we are going to go pick up our new joiner and we'll see you in a flash through the magic of video editing. <laughs> It. Here she is. <laughs> um, obviously, my chair and stuff is still in Mississippi, but... Um, and the outrageously large monitor. We could not be more pleased with it. We're super excited to decorate this room yes. and get it all sorted out and nestled in. We absolutely love it. Um, it was the modern look that we were kind of going for. The legs look really nice on this side, just a simple box. And like Davis said, we're gonna try to make it look nice and have this be our studio space. So when we walk in, we're ready to go. We feel comfortable. So hopefully you like the desk too. You'll be seeing it a lot. So <laughs> so the tabletop was really good practice. We got it like our first legit tabletop, mm -hmm. um, ignoring this and the legs and everything else, just the tabletop took us about 12 hours on the dot to get it finished out the door. Um, we're talking like buying the lumber from the hardwood dealer that was not milled up really in any way. It wasn't jointed all the properly. Milling, all the putting together, about 12 hours for the first one. I know we can save time on that in the future, especially because it's a standard size and dimension we're used to now. Other than that, thanks so much for watching. Yes. Um, can't wait to uh, try table bases next and uh, also see if we can get this tabletop down in time. I'm also excited to do a few more videos here on the room and uh, get it all settled in so we can hit the ground running when we come back here full time. Absolutely. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. We're uh, trying to start a furniture business in the Houston area. We'd love to show you our uh, mistakes and everything as we're learning. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.